Hello and welcome to Downloadable, I am your host Neil Taylor and this time on the show we're taking a look at Dungeon Hearts for the PC. This is developed by Cube Root, fascinating name, and is available on the PC as well as the iOS. As the iOS? Did I get that old that I'm starting to put the in front of everything? Next I'll be calling it the Google, at which point you all have permission to shoot me. Now, Dungeon Hearts, a little bit of an interesting one, really. When we take a look at it, you really are going to be able to tell this was uh, probably developed with iOS in mind. This is a... It's a match three game. There's no way around that. Uh, there's no way of hiding it. It's a match three game. However, one thing I would like to point out, it does have colorblind mode. So, if you do need that mode, this game does feature it. Now thinking this is a port of an iOS game, I'm going to give this game some credit. Unlike other ports of iOS uh, apps or games that uh, decide to put the price up because it's on PC, this game is a reasonable $1.99. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, they're not charging you a fiver unlike some other games. So. Let's take a look at Dungeon Hearts and see if it's any good. I have played the tutorial, so uh, hopefully I won't suck too badly at this game, but I probably am. Okay, so the idea is to match three. Here we're at a bonus level, actually. You know, I've forgotten how to do this now. This is good. Oh, there we go. Double click. That's it, Neil. Come on. You can do this. It's How hard is it to match three? Evidently, really hard. Ah, <sighs> that could have gone better. Oh, we have new rule. Okay. So here we go. Let's actually get into the game. This is the game. So to try and get your characters to attack, you have to match three colours. Ah. Like that. The more you match, the more attacks. The more you link up, the better. Also, you can prevent your enemies attacking like that by moving that. Now, as you can, as I said, you probably can tell. Ah, that went horribly wrong. Oh dear. Oh dear. As like I said, you can probably tell this was most likely designed with touch controls in mind because, my God, this is kind of hard to do with the mouse. Well, I think it is. Maybe, maybe I'm just not used to it. But I, uh, I can't move you. I can't move that either. I'm going to get attacked here. Okay, so the square ones don't move. Ah, I just noticed. Ah! Ugh. I am not very good at this type of game, am I? Oh, dear. No, don't break my stuff. Attack. 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 Wow, this game's taking a little bit more concentration than I thought. Or give it credit for. Oh. Okay, oh, I'm going to get majorly attacked now. So, yeah, it is a puzzle game. It involves matching three. In fact, I've just lost a character. That's not good. That's pretty dire. Oh, don't... Urgh. I said, for some reason, this, to me, would work better on an iPad. Clearly, because it is available on iOS, but with touchscreen controls, I would find this a lot easier to do the dragging and dropping of the the runes as quickly as the game intends you to do it. Here with the mouse, now maybe it's because I use a trackball mouse, I, I do prefer that style of mouse and you can have my trackball when you prize it out of my cold dead hands. Come on, attack. Maybe that's why I'm struggling, it's hard to say really. But this is the pretty much the majority of the game you're seeing here, that we have sort of this Guitar Hero style road map. Oh dear, I'm getting panned by this thing. It's only a giant bunny creature. That's embarrassing. Is it dead yet? No. I am doing terribly. I am doing really badly. See what I mean there? I just could not get my mouse across to, in time. Ah, you can break those. That's good. <sighs> this 
it's pretty much like I said, the entirety of the game. You have this road that you would see, say something like Guitar Hero. And the idea is just simply matching the three colours that move along, but you can't drag over items. So I, I can't, for example, move that over there. I have to go round where there's space. And I died! My god, I died playing a match three game. That's not good. Let's try again. I don't want to call this a bad game because I really don't think it is. I just have the feeling that PC is perhaps not the best place for this game. Like I said, iOS with the touchscreen controls, absolutely. You, you'd be able to drag and drop a hell of a lot quicker than I can do just using the mouse. Now, admittedly, I could just be really bad at this style. But, for some reason, the further we get into the game, the worse I get it. I just seem to struggle so much at it. Touchscreen controls would be a hell of a lot better and probably more enjoyable for this. But for the PC, ugh, I'm, I don't think so. I don't think this is the right platform for this style of game. I can't complain because like I said, it's not an expensive game. It really isn't. Two quid, cheaper than a cup of coffee really, isn't it? So I'm, I can't hold that against it. I just feel that the way this was designed and the way things are implemented, that you really, if you like the look at this game and you want a nice little time sink, you're probably going to be better off picking up the iOS version instead of the PC version because I think clearly with the way you you set up attacks and set up combos you're better off on an I iPad or even an iPod touch or your iPhone whereas PC yeah not so much I mean don't get me wrong I like a lot of the look of this game I like the aesthetic I like the the feel and the general idea behind it I'm I don't look down on match three games by any stretch of the imagination. I like a nice little puzzle game that I can sink some time in and just have fun with. But this is... Ah, I'm just doing terribly. <sighs> Dear me. My first impressions on it are... Uh, really, for the PC, give this a miss. Uh, uh, not that it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. I do not think it's bad. I think it's fun. I think it's... Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, like I said, don't think it's a bad game at all. I don't look down on match three games. I enjoy match three games. That You know, they're nice and simple, a good little time sink. But they're re uh, with the way that the mechanic of the game is set out, you're probably much better off using a touch system than a, than a mouse-based system like I'm doing here. Because... It just doesn't feel quite right. It feels a little bit slow, which is a shame because it's not, it, like I said, it's not a bad game. It really isn't. The idea of matching three runes, doing attacks, a nice little art style, a nice soundtrack as well, a very enjoyable soundtrack. Uh, when I bought it, you get the soundtrack with it and it was a lot of fun. But on the whole, PC wise, yeah, no. No, I'm afraid not. It just doesn't feel right for me to be playing this style of game. Uh, I'm too. Ah, oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, down there. Like I said you can't even. You can't jump this. Oh, you can jump it over an attack. And why wasn't it letting me do that earlier? But most of the time, yeah. See there, I can't drag that up until there's space so as much as I say this is definitely an iOS game and it's suited much better to that platform than the PC which is a shame because like I said I like the look I like the sound I like the idea behind it but if you're gonna pick it up yeah I'd, I'd get it for your iOS device or Android if it becomes available on there because a touchscreen control is going to be much more pleasant for this game and make the game a lot easier to play although I'm saying all this and I'm doing fairly good all of a sudden but it's being generous to me 
Alright folks, you have been watching Downloadable. This has been Dungeon Hearts, available for the PC on Steam at $1.99 and your iOS device. And I highly recommend that you pick it up on an iOS device and not your PC. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.